Thank you. Uh, next, we have our leaf disposal plan. Commissioner Albright will offer that. Welcome. Thank you. I'm glad it's been such an easy afternoon for you all so far. We can <laughs> close out here. As was referenced earlier, um, back last month, I was tasked with developing a leaf disposal plan that did not include leaf collection with vacuums. So, uh, and the impact that had on some of our other duties and our contractor. So just as a reminder, posted the, um, the resolution that was passed on September 13th. And here has, is what we've been discussing for the last four weeks. We are looking at it as <coughs> presenting our customers, our residents, with the other options that will be available. And these or in this order, there will be options, and we will encourage as, in as many ways as we know how to, um, to continue to allow people the opportunity to keep their leaves and to use them in their own yard in some fashion. And we do have long-term plans where we have discussed how to expand the programs where we teach people the best ways of using those leaves and how to combine them with other materials to make it more effective for their yard. The, and then we'll also offer various pickup options we, as you can see in there, um, our streets and roads will have some staff that will continue to work on leaf disposal using the, they'll collect the bags and our waste management staff will collect the carts because it will be kind of varied through there. So it will stay on your regular collection day so that we don't confuse people by coming through. We, we talked about trying to offer it differently, but that tends to just lead to more confusion sometimes. So keep everything on the same day still. Uh, we are getting a few uh, seasonal applications, so we'll continue to employ those folks to assist our streets and roads crews so that once again, the whole, the whole concept of the seasonal employees is to reduce the amount of burden that that puts on our full-time streets and roads staff. So the more seasonals we hire, the less we have to pull full-time people out, especially during those heaviest weeks. And then uh, we will, move additional staff in to assist as we need to again during those heaviest kind of three to four weeks that we tend to experience in the fall and then um, again the final thing that we'll say is we've suspended all the fees uh, at Haley Pike landfill so that if we have people want to bring several bags at once that they could do that without worrying about having a, a burden fee wise to dropping those off that when we did that, you remember we suspended the fees um, back at the early days of COVID for several months. And that was, from a composting perspective, that was the best material we ever got. So we are fine with um, however we can encourage folks to continue to do that. We would be okay with that. Some additional ideas that we have either put in motion or, um, or plan to if we um, proceed in this direction. We, again, we have increased the number of coupons. You remember traditionally in the at your service, you got three coupons for one set of bags each. This year we already increased that so that each coupon is up for, is expanded. It's good for up to three packages each. And we, our postcard that we're gonna send out that we feel we need to increase our communication this year. Either way, we were already working on how we were gonna do this and that the bags were gonna become a more important part of leaf disposal this year. So we're gonna give people an additional set of bags for, um, in the, with the postcard that should come out at the beginning of this month. I may have done the math wrong, I'll have to go back and look. It'll be on the slide later. Um, and then of course, as, as we tend to tell people, if you call 311 and ask for additional coupons, we do tend to distribute still another set. So if we know we have people who can easily fill 50 to 100 bags and, and we are, we're gonna continue to do what we can to help people within, you know, within certain uh, reasonable expectations. Another idea that we have put um, together some initial cost estimates for were these leaf shoots because we do know that filling those paper bags can be a little trickier. So, and we are asking people to, to do more with the bags this year than we have. So 
um, in the past so that we're we're looking at the opportunity to provide these chutes that kind of fit down in the bag and make it easier whether it's laying down or standing up to fill those bags even if you're by yourself and one final thing um, that will be a little different this year would be that we would collect the bags only the bags uh, on thanksgiving week if you remember previously with the last few years, we have actually suspended yard waste collection Thanksgiving week, and that's led to some confusion and some concerns because uh, we needed to make sure that we had enough staff available to collect trash and recycling. And um, this will allow us to at least go through and collect the bags during that week. Some of the questions that came up in uh, September were what is the impact to the water quality because it's been kind of a conflated uh, is it a litter issue is it a water quality issue is it a landfill diversion issue and it's a little bit of all of it I guess so we did go back and look at the number of times over the years that we have had complaints specifically about leaves blocking a storm drain to see if we could find a pattern to see if there was an area of the city or something that where we are a time of year where we got more complaints about leaves, specifically clogging storm drains. And the answer was that we could not. It would probably take a lot more in-depth study than, than we had available to us with the means we were using. Um, but the reference I used, it was sort of like peas on a plate. They were just everywhere, every year. You know, it was just, uh, there was no real pattern that we could tell. Similarly, um, the work orders for potholes completed over the last several years, uh, it, you know, the question was, by pulling our full-time staff away from potholes going into winter, are we setting ourselves up for more issues as winter progressed? And the answer is really just there's so many things that affect a pothole and the formation of a pothole that, that deciding how many of them are because we didn't have a second pothole crew available was, it was too hard to ferret out, at least so far. We probably have to hire someone who's a lot better at statistics than I am, for sure. Again, uh, we already have been talking about a communication plan because we, as we presented in September, leaf disposal is going to be harder this year um, for our staff. So again, focusing on keeping them and, and mulching them back into your yard or putting them in your compost pile, um, letting us take them in bags and carts as we come through every week, and then uh, opening up Haley Pike a little more broadly so that folks know that if they do have one of those weeks that everything fell at once, as I know happens with some species of trees, then we will have the opportunity to haul them all off one week. We will, uh, again, a lot of this will happen, whichever plan moves forward, with um, we are preparing TV commercials for how to dispose of your leaves this year, the best ways, um, the postcard that's going out with additional bag coupons. We'll have information starting as early as next week about how all this will play out and the digital uh, ads with the Herald Leader and Facebook and some other opportunities. And then we'll also have uh, radio ads starting um, in two weeks. This is a um, example of the postcard. Again, that goes to print, I think tomorrow. Again, because we know that, that leaf, we already knew leaf disposal was gonna be a little trickier. So the, the better we could get the information out and get some additional coupons into people's hands, uh, we'll monitor the, the budget for that um, to see how it works out this year, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, with, this was the budget that we have set up for leaf collection, and there are a lot of uh, opportunities to, to use those funds, I think, sufficiently this, this fall, however we move forward. We will repurpose some of the contractor and some of the employee uh, payroll issues as we need to for the year. And with that, I know I flew through everything. All right, council members, what questions do you have? Council member Reynolds. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we, things have kind of blown up with a lot of questions over the past few weeks. Um, one thing you mentioned, um, taking the carts in November and December, and somebody had asked me uh, how, 
usually th that's yard waste is suspended during the winter at some point. So in terms of leaf collection, will will leaves be collected all winter if needed? Yes, ma'am. We actually continue to run those. We just run a skeleton crew, so we, we but we will run yard waste all winter. Okay, great. And then um, for Haley Pike landfill, people can take leaves there themselves. Yes, ma'am. Um, and do they need to be bagged or are they loose? When they, they can be tarped they, and so then just loose under the tarp, yeah. So it could be in a trailer or a, a truck? Mm hmm Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Those are all my okay. questions. Thank you, Council Member Sheehan. Thank you, Mayor. Um, thank you, Commissioner, for this presentation um, and your attention to this. I know I have been one of the vocal people about leaf vacuuming, and if you look at our um, tree canopy presentation that we had earlier, that our um, my district was the one with the highest percentage of tree canopy. So this uh, is something that comes up a lot for my district and how we're going to handle the leaves. So. I appreciate the communication plan and telling people what they should be doing, but could you talk a little bit about the choice, like on the postcard, to to not say that we aren't doing vacuum, because I think it's a big uh, assumption for for um, our residents to understand just from that that we are eliminating that part of the program. We did not want to push forward a final version of what our message would be before we talked to you all today. So the, and the postcards had to, to lead in front of that a little bit just because of the, the time that it takes to go to print and, and mailing. So definitely the postcard, we had to, to be a little bit hedge our words as far as making sure that, that this was the plan moving forward. But I do think that one of the things that has come from the mayor's office down to everybody in leaf collection or leaf disposal is that we have to acknowledge that this year is going to be very different, especially if we do not use the vacuums this year. So there will be a very concerted effort to make sure that we know, because we have talked about that we can we can put it on every social media app we can think of and we can make a TikTok video, I guess, and we will still <laughs> we will still have leaves in the utility strip. <laughs> And I, I still haven't quite figured out how to do that, but we will do the, our very best effort of making sure everybody knows this year that is not how they will be picked up. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Councilmember McKern. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Commissioner, I, I'd happily help you with that TikTok video. Oh, I love that, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I'd be interested in seeing that. Um, thank you for the presentation. Uh, Director Allen, I appreciate the change of tie as well. Thank you for fitting the attire. Um, <laughs> uh, my question for you is, what about a second Lenny instead of uh, just bags? And I know this is more of a permanent option, but this would also look at cutting costs for us in the future as well. The, the, the carts are, are relatively a little more expensive. And the main thing we have is just sort of keeping track of all of them, um, where, how they go out and, and when they become, as, as we've talked about before, frequently those become kind of a free second garbage can. And they actually really expand the amount of contamination that we get. So our hope was that we kind of step back from a, handing out additional carts for that reason. Okay. They, they really add to the contamination. Do you have a concern that people are going to start putting these in their uh, Herbies or their Rosies as well? Probably, yes. I have to admit that, that there would be a concern that people will, will put them in their Herbies and, and, and their Rosies because that does tend to get confused a lot. I would hope not the Rosies so much, but it, it, is that a huge concern or is that something that environmentally that would be okay? I think if, if we do not have as much of that and I think we... We'll be okay. Right. Is it the end? Um, and then appreciate the, uh, the conversation about the shoots. I didn't even know there was such a thing until this I didn't conversation. Either. I didn't um, either. I thank our deputy CAO for that. Thank you. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Call you out as to try to walk. It was a great idea that I didn't know existed. <laughs> um, for those shoots, and I know that this is something that's still being uh, looked into, but would this be a free option or there's, is there going to be a cost? It would be something we would provide. The, the big thing we haven't really figured out, we can get several thousand of them, we think, in a matter of a couple of weeks. We haven't figured out how we would distribute them um, kind of appropriately. Okay. I know there are several neighborhoods, I'm sure, that are going to be very interested in that option, uh, and I appreciate the increase in the bags as well. Thank you.
Thank you, Council Member Legree. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, Commissioner, I just have a question about kind of the original intent of this program. So um, help me if you can with that. Originally with the leaf vacuuming program was the intention um, to help with stormwater management, um, to vacuum up the leaves so that they wouldn't get into our waterways. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Probably Rob can speak a little more. I do know back in 2000, the the ordinance that was passed was connected to garbage. So I, I do know there was a connection <clears throat> to, to the landfill as far as 2000. But now prior to that, I don't know if you have additional information you want to share, Rob. No, uh, you know, examining the data, we found that it's really not an impact other than people uh, Putting, intentionally putting uh, leaves in the storm sewer system. Uh, uh, we have had that happen and anecdotally uh, talking about calls about leaves and debris, what we found is the majority of those calls have been associated with folks wanting a second pass and trying to justify it. So they call, Lex call, and they say, oh, there's all these leaves that have fallen since you've come back and it's going to, you know, we did such a good job selling the, the stormwater angle <laughs> it, it, um, that folks were trying to use that kind of to justify that. And what we found is it's really not an impact. And as we've learned more, um, it, it's not, not as big an issue as we feared. Okay. And, and well, and the reason I was asking is because uh, if this were originally a stormwater uh, project and then people were raking their leaves onto the easement and then the leaves were blowing into the storm sewer, then I don't see how it would help. But I know that you said earlier it's difficult to quantify some of that. So I was just uh, curious about the original intent of the program versus or in relation to what it's become for in practice and in terms of our various funding sources now. It was also kind of low-hanging fruit associated with the consent decree as we were looking how we improved our overall sanitation and storm system and and those were concerns too especially with the sanitary sewer overflows and the combined flows mm -hmm. um, as, as i said as we've gone on we've realized that's not necessarily the case okay so we may be in a different spot now than when the program original or originated all right thank you thank you for that thank you mayor thank you council member bledsoe thank you mayor and thank you commissioner for your presentation i think in an ideal world it was an amazing program meaning we move the leaves out, the vacuum comes up, the stormwater stay clean, it's a great, it's a great way of doing this, and, and everyone's happy. Um, that's just not the way it works right now. And I think the biggest challenge to that is the personnel piece of it, which is we don't control the weather and we don't have enough personnel to, to meet the needs. And so what happens is we move the leaves out and then we don't get them picked up on time, they end up still in the sewers, and everyone's frustrated, they call three times, they call our office, come back, and we don't have the personnel to do it. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it, even if we financed it and said we're going to pay for it, we still don't have the people to do this well. And I want that to be very clear. It's not a matter. We can make a fiscal case for sure. We can make a stormwater case for sure. But we also need to make the reality, which is we don't have enough personnel to do this well. And so I do think you're making a very um, good attempt to provide constituents with enough resources to make this work. I wish it were more convenient to just pull them out. I do that with my moms. I pull them out and then we would wait. So it is it is more work to put them in the bags. No question. But it would actually, I think, provide better storm water quality if we do, because we can actually move them more quickly um, and be more responsible for that. And so given that, even though it might be unpopular, I would make a motion that we move forward the plan as presented by the commissioner. Is there a second? Second. Vice Mayor Case seconds. Any questions about the motion? Comments? Council Member Maloney. Thank you. I, I I would support this. I just think the time is bad. Uh, I've been working with this for many years, and I was I was the one pushed because originally the leaf pickup was using general funds. We then went to the garbage pickup because we were going to use Charlie's money because we wanted to do the whole city. Well, the city side, we only wanted to do garbage pickup, and that's why we didn't go through the sewer pickup fees. Uh, to, for the water problems. I, I don't think we did enough planning for this. I think to me, I said it before, we should come out in January, educate the public, give them plenty of notice, and because this is going to be a, a blow to them, and I'm giving them a couple of weeks to do this, is 
right now, we're out waking leaves at our place. So, and we do back them. And that's, but the problem is that you're going to see a lot of people in the 5th District and a lot of people in the 11th District, you get, that are older people that that don't, are not, have not planned for this because they do not, not know that they're going to be picked after they can, they can use the bag. They've been used to putting it out in the, letting the folks come and rake it out to the streets. So I am concerned and I cannot support this right now, but if it was in January or February after we've had the discussion, had the public input, I would be in favor of this. But to me right now, this isn't the time to do it, so I would vote against it. Thank you. Councilmember Reynolds. Thank you, Mayor. I'm going to echo what Councilmember Bledsoe said a little bit. To me, this isn't about are we going to have a leaf vacuuming program this year or are we not? To me, if, we're, if we vote to have a leaf vacuuming program this year, it will be subpar and we will have tons of constituents upset at us. We have people upset at us right now because they're going to miss this program. I understand that. I, I took I, advantage of this program every year. Um, however, I don't want to pass something and move it forward that's going to cause more disruption, that the leaves won't be picked up in the timely manner, where there's going to be snow on top of the leaves, where we're not going to do a good job. So I agree. It is not ideal to do this right now. It is not ideal to be just putting the message out now. Um, I, I wholeheartedly agree, and I know that it's going to affect a lot of people, but but deciding that we're going to have it doesn't mean that we're making a program feasible for all of Lexington. It is still going to be a problem, and it's going to be a, a much larger one, and it will not be serving our constituents well. So, thank you. Thank you. Does anyone else wish to speak to the motion? All right, all those in favor of moving this forward, please say aye. Aye. Is anyone opposed? No. Okay, there's one no vote. Thank you. Um, now it's time. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Director Allen. Uh, it's time for council reports. If you'll log in, 